the police interview and identification procedures. I'd like to speak to you now about the solicitor's role in the police station when a suspect is being interviewed and during any identification procedure which takes place. These two events are, generally speaking, the only times that a solicitor is required to attend the police station in person. Most other legal advice is appropriate to give over the telephone. And unless there is something particular about the case, the solicitor will not be paid by the legal aid agency for attending in person. The role of the solicitor is very clear and Code C of the Codes of Practice attached to PACE, Note 6D, provides that the solicitor's only role is to protect and advance the legal rights of his client. The police interview. A solicitor representing a client at the police station will have been telephoned, usually by the Defence Solicitor Call Centre, sometimes by a friend or family member of the suspect, or occasionally by the suspect themselves. If they are attending as a volunteer or are wanted by the police, and considering surrendering to custody voluntarily. In cases where the suspect is detained in police custody, the solicitor will speak to the custody officer over the telephone to get as many initial details about the case as possible and will usually give the client some initial advice. Once the solicitor arrives at the police station, they will generally be provided with a copy of the suspect's custody record which they are entitled to view in accordance with Code C 2.4. The solicitor should then speak to the investigating officer who should provide disclosure to the solicitor. This disclosure should include details of the evidence that the police have so far and inquiries which are ongoing. The entitlement to disclosure is provided for in Code C Note for Guidance 11ZA and the police disclosure must be sufficient for the suspect to understand the nature of any offence the police are alleging they have committed. The solicitor will then consult with the suspect in private in order to take their instructions and to advise the suspect how to approach the interview.